guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to annie's kitchen so guys thank you so much may i forgive myself for round of applause thank you because i realize a lot of people do like the vanilla pork whoa it was such the die for like the flavor everything i wish you guys taste it and i hope you do try it because it is a very 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 wonderful dish at the end of the day but i have to give myself a mm, a round of applause right you have to be proud of yourself at the end of the day you can't wait for nobody for proud of you my love proud of yourself and pop your color so anyway today is tuesday right and guess what today i am not cooking no rice or such we're gonna do something easy because my family is a type of family where them like Sometimes they eat rice, sometimes they don't want the rice, sometimes they don't want no meat, sometimes they want vegetable. And me in the kitchen, you know, I say, come on, chef of the always on point, right? So today I am going to do something very creative where I just think out of the box, right? And I'm going to do something very much, you know, out of the norm for them. So guys, I hope you do like it and I hope you do like my um when i said um um create creative cooking yes creative cooking because it's something when i create out of my head i don't have the name for it as yet you understand me so please give me a thumbs up tell me if you do like it and if you do create this you can definitely put what you want on it as well all right so let's go so these are all my ingredients all right so um i get mustard cucumber tomato i have my butter mayonnaise over here i have my ketchup my coconut milk i do have my um pineapple i have flour and 100 percent milk so i don't really need the 100 percent milk but me keep it there for a little backup all right so these are all my ingredients and if you like to try this please get all of these ingredients so you can use it the only season i use is maggie all-purpose in my food at this time so for a person where you don't have um high blood pressure because i'm hypertensive right i don't really mess with certain type of art seasoning in my food to get the salt all right so guys let's go we're gonna start off our video today bless up everyone on the tuesday enough love big up to everybody from broad big up on yourself i really appreciate you guys thank you for my new subscribers guys thank you so much for being on my channel so guys let's go today we're gonna do coconut bread yes of course coconut bread this is my baking flour and um we're gonna provide a lot of niceness pan top air yeah, talk show to me the ghetto come out in other voice hey <laughs> and always so my youtube family we're gonna start off with our chicken breast and you can see yeah, how they mostly do the breast parts all right no bone and this one can cut a little bit thinner if you want you can give it a double cut right so we're gonna go ahead and season it so the whole menu we're gonna start off with a chicken breast all right so there you have your whole chicken breast and now we're gonna start our seasoning all right so there you have my chicken breast well seasoned nice and tender when we do me use the knife so we can push it through so when you're fry, you always know so you get a nice tenderness all right the only season i use is maggie all purpose of course the only season we use at this time when everybody know right and i will not stop using maggie all purpose because at the end of the day maggie all purpose to me have less salt and depends how much you use it all right Okay, right, guys, so we have a chicken breast frying out very crispy. So, the chicken come in nice and tender, looking good, of course. So, we need them very crispy. Uh, it depends on how crispy you want your chicken. Guys, okay, so we have a flour. And I didn't weigh my flour because I just used the estimate in my head. So, this flour, you can say about like so about two pounds right so we have two pound of flour here we're gonna dust in our sugar you can just put about a spoon full of sugar in it our spoon and a half all right one spoon and a half sugar so we have our melted butter so with the one stick of um stick butter you can use a non-salt butter as well so we have only like a spoonful of yeast all right just a small amount of yeast so you know um you can get that nice surprise 
have a coconut all right so we have a coconut milk so we're going to use a simple one of these and if you started to knead all right guys so you may have my dough well ready and you can take your hand right so you can if your dough really ready you take your finger and you pour it down pour it down you can see my riser come back up each time you pour it down you can see it's coming coming back up you can see that all right you see that all right so we're ready to go so we're going to start it to make with coconut bread all right here we have a coconut bread so these are coconut flatbreads make them very flat and nice so you can see the nice creamy butter on top so we're going to put them in the oven now so guys these are my flatbread they're not done as yet them gaining some color right and you see the nice beautiful color coming out so they're not done as yet guys but they're looking good <laughs> All right, guys. So there we have a vegetable. Uh, we have um, pine pineapple, <laughs> tomatoes. Uh, we have our nice cucumber right here and lettuce in the middle, right? So these are all I'm addressing what we're gonna do today. So say we have a nice coconut bread. So you have the cheese on top, well melted. So we're gonna go ahead now and put on all of a nice look of vegetables, meat, sauce. So if you do like this guys you can do give it a try and you can do it simply if just for lunch nice coconut flavor mm -hmm. all right guys so we can put on with barbecue sauce at first so you can see me already started to put in my barbecue sauce not gonna put too much right so we have one with cheese as you can see all right guys so you see we have our nice tomato we have pineapples we have cucumber making sure the kids then get as much vegetable as possible so we have nice tomato here cucumber you have your pineapple you have your guys and chicken okay so see we have um mayonnaise all right we do love mayonnaise we have our nice meal on top nice little vegetables of course I know that so this sandwich is a belly full. Touch it. <laughs> oh my God. Right now, I know that so these kids now go want no dinner by far. I know that. So right now, I tell us so that this could be like them lunch, dinner, everything in one. Because they not really can say they're not craving, but them picky. And when them don't pick, them don't eat out your pocket. Hey okay, guys, here is my presentation. You know how it goes. So right now so we have a nice cucumber we have um mustard ketchup to make um ketchup mayonnaise of course so all of these are my beautiful dressing with my coconut bread and if you do love this video please give more a thumbs up thank you guys thank you guys they didn't mock me like seriously so guys thank you so much and thank you for joining me for lunch have a wonderful one